we are on day eight right now. All right, guys, we are going to do an autumn leaf. And I think it's going to be this one. I want to show you how you can take a real autumn leaf. I love that it's got these extra little curly bits and such. But we are going to trace the leaf. And then we will put details in. And by tracing the leaf, it takes some of the possible frustration out of it. So I am just going to come down and trace. I see that this leaf has a bit of a curve at the, at the base of it. Then I'm going to come back up and I'm going to trace, and I am actually sort of swinging it out of the way just a little bit. So now you can see where the stem is. When you're tracing something like this, I want you to really look at it. You're not going to be really hard tracing every single little line, but I want you to kind of look at it and go, all right, so there's little, little serrations like this so that you're kind of getting them going the direction that they're growing. This is helping you to look at it, to observe what's going on, just like that, you know, and it is going to look kind of funny when we first are finished. And then like that. So let's lift it up. But look, it's giving you that idea of what the leaf shape is. Now, the neat thing here is that we're going to be able to go in and do some shadows under the leaf that will also give us a little bit more of a realistic feel to it. So I'm going to just keep going. And then they start getting smaller and smaller and smaller and tighter, 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 tighter till when it's more like just tapping little dots. So we've gone up that side. I'm going to come over here on this side in the middle like this and just work my way up again. If the leaf, if the leaf moves, so long as I end up with the tip in the right space, it's okay. Remember, we're not copy machines. This is not actually, you know, copying with like laying it on a Xerox. Yes, you're tracing around it, but you notice I'm not tracing every single spot. I am getting an idea. But look, that's okay. I went off right there. I started to go in and then I decided to go around. It's okay. We are going to have so much fun coloring this thing in. I was maybe going to use my fine liners on this, but I think I want to do the ink tents. I'm enjoying using the ink tents, and I think for this kind of coloring effect that's on here, that would be so pretty. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift up just a little bit so that I can say, all right, there's going to be a vein going that way, or we'll push it up a little higher. There's a vein coming off right here. This one's going to go this way and head up and all the way out to the tip. And it started wider 
and then it's getting narrower. Then you have another one coming off that's going to the other little side petal of the leaf. Okay. And now I think you can tell already, we're going to take one from right here and go up to there. And if you look, it's pretty much a straight line, ever so slightly off center going across. So we're going to go up and over and out. And now that ended up being maybe a little bit more curved than the one in the actual leaf. It is. It's okay. So then this one is going to come from here. See, they're all they're all pretty much coming from this junction where the stem is. So we're going to go up and out and up and out. Give it a little bit of thickness. There's probably a little bit more thickness there than there needed to be. That's okay. I keep saying that's okay because you know what? It is. Going all the way out to the tip. Then we'll have a few. They're not quite symmetrical. They're slightly offset. Just like that. There's some little ones in the middle. And then there's a couple on this one that are a little more observable. And if you notice, I'm letting my line break. It doesn't have to be perfect. work our way around. There we go. See how we're starting to get a real looking leaf. Now I am observing on this leaf that there is like a center line it's coming down and meeting into this end right here. And the end has almost a, a little double, double bump to it. There's not much else to that. Now, look at this. It looks like there's spatters with a really dark brown. So I'm going to go ahead and put my spatters on with a really dark brown right now. Get some spatter on there. Now I'm just spattering over the whole book page because I don't mind having some of this in the background also. So we've got some spatters. I think we're going to have some of that. See how there's like a, a big dark spotch? I'm going to put a couple little puddles maybe a few extras here and there out on the tip see how that's right there and right up here and even along that edge now what I'm going to do I'm going to grab some other colors to drop in to sort of set into those spaces and let them sort of bleed around a little bit.
But as long as I don't go outside the, the drawing, it's actually going to stay inside my lines. Now I want to grab some of that more orangey red. Actually, no, I'm going to put, I'm going to take my, my yellow and orange together. And wash that in. And I'm going to let it just run right into those darker spots because they've already had a chance to stain the paper. See, look at that. We're just going to get this color in. This is a nice, oops, I see a drop on my, on the ferrule. This is a nice goldeny orange color. I took a yellow and an orange and sort of mixed them together. And I'm still using the ink tense blocks. And so I was using this yellow and that orange right next to it to get that lovely goldeny, goldeny glowing color. And just get that in there. And yes, I have a, a clock that chimes on the hour and the half hour. And so, yep, it's eight o'clock at night. <laughs> wow. So we have this lovely goldeny glow in here. Now what I want to do is lay some of that kind of more reddish tone in here. And I'm just tapping it in. And remember, this is a sketch in my sketchbook. So I'm coloring, I am exploring how the color lays down. I am not worried about making it perfect, but I'm exploring and having fun. You know, that's, that's part of Inktober and the whole process here. I mean, truthfully, I should be doing this on every day, but I was sick last week and totally, it totally threw off all of my recording because I really didn't feel like recording my, you know, I just wasn't feeling good. It was a head cold, you know, where you don't feel very good with a head cold. You, you want to just sort of curl up and tell people don't bother me <laughs> and tell yourself, you know, it's okay to take time off and take care of yourself. I even took a couple days off from work to take care of myself, you know, from that, <laughs> from that day job. I'm hoping that eventually this becomes my day job. It's one of those, as I have more and more subscribers and more people going and, you know, using my affiliate links and, and doing the things like that for, uh, helping to raise revenue, <laughs> you know, little things add up and that is uh, that's where I am on that but I'm looking forward to it it looks like it's coming sooner rather than later I'm just using the very tippy tip of this brush with some red that same red that I was putting in the leaf. 
And I'm just using that to put in on the stem and the veins. And I'm looking at this going, okay, and that's actually going to go red, 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 and then it goes almost to this kind of greenish yellowy color down here at the tippy tip. That is looking really, really nice, isn't it? Just take a little touch of that in there. Sort of blend some of those edges together a little bit. And now I want to put some of that shadow in. That's what we'll do. So I'm going to take this sort of gray, greenish color and water. Let's make it really so there's shadow right here. And there's bit of a shadow here. And there's a shadow coming down like this. And then we have some shadow going out there. Sort of like that. And then there's a bit of a shadow and it comes around. And we've got that little bit of a serrated edge on there and I'm going to have to go back and fix that, I think, because I don't, I can't seem to get that quite so much. Bit of shadow up here. And then there's, oops. There is a touch of a shadow right here. Okay. Oh, ho, 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 ho. isn't that pretty? There you go. Bring that in just like that. Inktober day eight. Done. I think I want a little bit more of some spatter out here that's maybe a little bit brighter color. There we go. And on the leaf is fine too. I am so happy with how that turned out. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please click that like button, subscribe to the channel and share the video with your friends. Make sure and share on your social media and make sure and put it into your playlists because YouTube seems to be paying attention to when people are sharing and putting their videos into playlists. I don't know, but they seem to pay more attention to those videos and they seem to share them out more when other people are sharing them too. As always, go out, do something creative, take care of yourself so you can take care of those around you. And I hope to see you back here again really soon. Bye-bye.